हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 5 एक्सरसाइज 11.8 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन थ्रू द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द लाइंस सो हियर द फर्स्ट वन 2x y 3 दैट वन इक्वल टू 0 and second one here 3x minus 2y plus 4 that one equal to 0 and also parallel to and also parallel to the lines 4x plus y that one equal to 7 okay so as here the first two lines here the first two lines are intersecting each other so you can write down this one as x 2x plus y minus 3 plus k into 3x minus 2y plus 4 that one equal to 0 you know the formula there is l1 plus k into l2 that one equal to 0 if two lines are intersect each other so here you can write down as here 2x here 3x so if x will be common it becomes 2 plus 3k then for the y as here only y here minus 2k y so if y common so 1 minus 2k and for the next one here 4k minus 3 that one equal to 0 put it equation number 1 okay clear now if the straight line if the required straight line parallel to the straight line this one 4x plus y minus 7 that one equal to 0 then you can write down here the coefficient so as here 2 plus 3k divided by 4 here the coefficient of x is equal to the ratio of the coefficient of y that means 1 minus 2k by 1 okay so in this equation you can easily find out the value of k by cross multiply so 2 plus 3k then here 4 minus 8k so here 11k and it's 4 minus 2 so it's 2 that means here k equal to 2 by 11 now you have to just put down the value of k in equation number 1 so here x then 2 plus 3 into 2 by 11 then here y 1 minus 2 into 2 by 11 then here 4 into 2 by 11 then minus 3 that one equal to 0 okay so here you can write down x and as here 11 is the lcm so 22 plus 6 the next one here 11 lcm so 11 minus 4 that one equal to here 8 by 11 minus 3 that one equal to 0 now if you multiply with 11 with each and every term so 28x this one will be here 7y okay next one will be here 8 then minus 33 that one equal to 0 so your final answer 28x plus 7y minus here 33 minus 8 it's 25 that one equal to 0 now next sum number 6 find the equation of the line through the point of intersection of the lines here the first one 5x minus 3y that one equal to 1 and second one here 2x plus 3y that one equal to 23 and also perpendicular to the line 5x minus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 so first here you have to find out the equation of the line through the point of intersection of first two lines that one equal to here 5x minus 3y minus 1 then here k into 2x plus 3y minus 23 that one equal to 0 you know the formula so here if x will be common then 5 plus 2k then for the second one if y equal to common so 3k minus 3 and then here minus 23k minus 1 that one equal to 0 okay so this is the required line now if this line is perpendicular to the uh, second one sorry to the given one that means 5x minus 3y minus 1 so here is a formula suppose you have a1x plus b1y plus c1 that one equal to 0 and the second one a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 and if these two lines are perpendicular with each other then a1 a2 
plus b1 b2 definitely equal to 0 that is the condition of two perpendicular lines so in that case you can write down here 5 plus 2k multiply with 5 then here 3k minus 3 multiply with minus 3 that one equal to 0 okay so now multiply here 25 plus 10k then here minus 9k plus 9 that one equal to 0 so here k and then here 25 okay so 25 first add 25 plus 9 that is 34 so k equal to you can write down minus 34 so as here k equal to minus 34 then just put down the value of k in equation number 1 so here x then 5 plus as here minus 34 so 34 into 2 okay that is 68 so minus 68 the next one here y and here 34 into 3 so that one equal to 102 so minus 102 minus 3 okay then here 23 into here minus 34 so that one will be here positive then here minus 1 equal to 0 okay so now here 68 68 5 it's minus 63 x the next one here 105 y now 20 3 into 34 that is 782 so 782 minus 1 it's 781 that one equal to 0 so as here uh, final answer 63x plus 105y minus 781 that one equal to 0 next one sum number 7 obtain the equation of a line passing through the intersection here first one 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 second one here 3x plus 4y that one equal to 5 and drawn parallel to y axis okay so first here the point of intersection the equation it's 2x minus 3y plus 4 then here plus k as same as the previous one so 3x plus 4y minus 5 that one equal to 0 okay so that means here if x common so it becomes here 2 plus 3k for the next one if y common so 4k minus 3 the next one here minus 5k plus 4 that one equal to 0 put it equation number 1 now as here drawn to parallel to the y axis so here the equation a line which is parallel to y axis that means here x equal to constant okay a line which is parallel to uh, y axis that equal to x equal to constant anything x equal to 0 x equal to minus 1 x equal to 1 2 anything so as here x equal to constant is the equation of a parallel line with y axis then definitely the coefficient of y that one will be 0 remember that the coefficient of y in this equation that one equal to 0 so as here coefficient of y equal to 0 then here this portion will be 0 that means 4k minus 3 that one equal to 0 so here you can write down k equal to 3 by 4 it's very easy now put down the value of k in equation number 1 so x into 2 plus here 3 into 3 by 4 that means 9 by 4 then here 4 into 4 by 4 that means 3 by 3 it's 0 then here 5 into 3 by 4 here plus 4 that one equal to 0 so that means here x and here lcm is 4 so 8 it's 17 that one equal to here minus 15 by 4 plus 4 that one equal to 0 if you multiply it with 4 it becomes 17x minus 15 plus 16 that one equal to 0 so here your final answer 17x plus 1 that one equal to 0 now sum number 8 this is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in sum number 8 show that the straight lines here 2 plus k okay into x plus 1 plus k into y that one equal to 5 plus 7 k for different real values of k passes through a fixed point okay so first do one thing first move 5 and plus 7 k in the left hand side so here 2 x plus k x then y plus k y minus 5 
minus 7k that one equal to 0. Now here you can write down 2x plus y and then minus 5 in a bracket. So 2x plus y minus 5 in a bracket and from the last remaining one if you come on k it becomes x plus y minus 7 in the another bracket that one equal to 0. Now here this equation is look like as l1 plus l2k that one equal to 0 the condition you know that if l1 and l2 are two lines and if these two lines are intersect each other so here the condition is l1 plus l2k that one equal to 0. So by comparing this equation you can write down here the equation l1 that is 2x plus y minus 5 that one equal to 0 and the equation l2 that is x plus y minus 5 that one equal to 0. So now here this equation number 1 passes through the point of intersection of the line L1 and L2. So here I am going to solve the solution of this L1 and L2. So if you add these two equation here, then here minus minus it's plus then y y cancel out. Okay, clear. Now 2x minus x that equal to x plus 2 that one equal to 0. So x equal to here minus 2. Okay, x equal to minus 2. So as here x equal to minus 2 then you can write down here minus 2 plus y minus 7 that equal to 0 and from that one y equal to here 9. Okay y equal to here 9. So that is the point of intersection minus 2 and 9.